good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's good to see morning. everybody. Praise the Lord. A day that the Lord has made, we're going to rejoice in it. Yes. We will rejoice in it to make that decision. Amen. Okay. We are Pastors James and Lorraine Frazier oh. of New Beginning Child Church of Faith by the Oaksdale, North Carolina. When, when all this is over, we have to stay at home. You're welcome to come and join us anytime you want. doesn't make no difference what race you are. Just come and join us. Amen. Amen. So I'd like to say to my wife this morning, you happy birthday. It's your birthday <laughs> yesterday, y'all. Oh, <laughs> don't tell nobody. I, I'm not getting okay. older. <laughs> okay. We have a word of prayer. We'll get right into the lesson this morning. Say, hey, Father God, we give an honor to you and praise. We thank you again, God, this day that you have given us. We're here by your grace and your mercy. We love you. We thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and about to do to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Well, right. now we'll just get with the word. That's what you come for. And you turn your Bibles this morning to the book of John, chapter 16, verse 21. Out of the easy read version, if you have that. And it reads like this. When a woman gives birth to a baby, she has pain. Mm -hmm. Because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the pain. She forgets because she is so happy that a child has been born into the world. Yes. Now remember that. Yes. When a woman gets pregnant, you know, she's in, when she gets get labor, she has a lot of pain. But after the baby's born, she don't have any more pain. She's happy about it. And my second scripture is Joel 2 and 21, King James Version. It says, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Amen. Did y'all hear Amen. that? It said, Fear not. Mm -hmm. Don't get no fear. It said, For the Lord will do great, great things. things. My topic this morning is greatness is being birthed. As the Lord began to tell me about this message, He was, you know, take me back to when I was, when I was pregnant. You know, any you women out there ever been pregnant? You know, you carried a baby eight to nine months, and but it's something called labor pains just before you give birth to that baby. Ouch. Yeah. My husband tells me I was in labor for 24 hours, no, but anyway. 48. Oh, 48 hours. 48 okay. hours. Okay. Oh, and anyway, I remember saying, take this baby. But he said, I said, I can have another, you can have another woman. I don't know if I really <laughs> said that or not, but anyway. She was out of it. <laughs> I, I remember saying that doctor, take the baby. I can't have it. So they end up giving me a C-section at the baby. But I'm telling you what, when they brought that baby to me, it was so precious, so yeah. cute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, you just want to just kiss on me. My little baby boy, name, we <laughs> named him Justin. He's grown man now. But anyway, at that time, I was having all those pains. And, but after I had that baby, I forgot about all those pains, y'all. Actually, I wanted another one, but, you know, the doctor recommended us not having one. But I thought, this is so precious. Forget about the pain, you know. I'm ready to go on with this. Well, my point is this morning, I heard the word of the Lord said that we... Uh, as Christians, a nation, and we are in labor. We're traveling. We're everybody's praying. We're praying, praying for our nation. We're in, we're like in labor pain. And what's happening? We're in labor pains for for greatness to be birthed. Greatness to be birthed. See, when I was in labor pains, you know, I didn't know what was ahead, but that was greatness. The joy and the peace of having a, a child. That, that was greatness. So just like that woman having those birth pains, when that child comes. I've never heard a woman say, oh, well, no problem. There it goes. No problem. No, 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 no. There was pain. It took pain. But after it was done, it was over. And then joy came. So it is with us. Well, as a Christian, you being born again in Christian, in this life, God says, you shall have trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer, Jesus yeah. says, for I have overcome. He said, be of good cheer. You've overcome. That means yeah. if he overcome, yeah. Then you and I have overcome because he's in us. Okay. So greatness is being birthed. Yeah. You know, you yeah. will be okay. That's Keep right. trusting him. That's Keep right. living for him. That's right. That's right. 
Well, you know what? When all this is over, to stay at home. I hear the word of the Lord say, souls going to be saved. Going to have new ideas, signs and wonders, healings, wealth transfer. And we're going to see the outpour of the Holy Spirit like we've never seen before. So we're in Japan. We're in labor pains now, trying to birth the greatness that's about to take place. And the one thing we got to do is got to be on one accord. So in Acts, in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 1, verse 14, out of the King James Version, reads like this this morning. These are these all continued with one accord. You hear that? With one accord in prayer and supplication. With the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brother. In other words, they were all on one accord. Now see, Jesus had ascended. He's down on the heavens. Mm -hmm. Now I hear the people, they're like, what do we do? You know, they, they're panicking, just like people that we're panicking. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they decided to go to the upper road and go in prayer. Because yeah. they, they were like, listen, they, they saw Jesus do the miracle. They saw him do the healing. They saw him do great things. They thought, this is this is the man. This is our deliverer. But now he's gone, so what do we do? So they went into prayer. They went into the upper room. And they all were on one accord. And they began to start speaking in tongues. And greatness, what happened? They were, they were praying. They were travailing. They were in labor pains. Guess what happened? All got this four on one accord. Now here's they come out of this. Peter, listen. Peter is the one that denied Christ in the beginning. Now Peter's bold. He's going around. He's he's preaching. Repent, repent. You know. Now I think the scripture says. I think it says for the two thousand that got saved. Three thousand. Three thousand got yeah. saved. Look, look at the greatness that took place out of the birth pain. They were birthing. I mean, listen. I think the church gathered together. They was bring, they were selling stuff, and they were bringing possession. They were making sure that no one in the body of Christ was was in need. Everybody was taken care of. I mean, this was greatness. But it all took place up in the upper room. They were praying for the greatness. Yeah, it's it's not usually when one accomplished something in yeah, life. Yeah, it's not just so nonchalant. Mm -hmm. that's, I got just give no, it to me. Some labor that's pains that's in the it. way this this uh, day and time we live in. The uh, people want things given to them without any travail, without yeah, any work, right. without any. When we were coming up and we worked in the tobacco fields and and I was after her, you know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we were going together. And so I was her dad's best tobacco prep. He thought that. Yeah, yeah well, anyway, <laughs> I worked hard. I worked hard for her. <laughs> we worked hard to for what we gained for finances and whatever. My first job I get, I work hard. My feet were hurt me so bad. We couldn't sit down. But do stand with it though, then that check come on Friday and I enjoyed it. My sleep was good at night when I went to sleep. But this generation we in, they don't want to do anything. We just on a different day and time. But greatness comes about you you're through you're birthing it. It's being birth, what you're going through as a Christian, you've been born again, you wonder what's going on. Remember, as she said, in this life, in this walk with Christ, you shall have trials and tribulation. But Jesus says, Look up, for I have overcome. That means if you've overcome, then we overcome. All right? He overcame for us, then He's in us. You will be all right, we'll be okay. But the main thing I want you to remember that the disciples, when they went in that room, they were on one accord. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. you remember that, you know? No strife. No <laughs> strife. I mean, you know, I'm like this. I've been through so much. I got testimony after testimony. I've seen Jesus Christ doing my life. But I'm not going to argue with you about it because I know what he did in my life. So, you know, who cares what denomination you are? As long as you, this, I'm like this, as long as right. you believe in Jesus Christ the Savior, that, that right. he is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Listen, we can be on one accord. We can be in labor pain praying for our nation. Because Jesus said, you know, he said, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it. And, and you know what? Now listen, don't be texting me, sending me no <laughs> bad letters and whatever. Listen, what? who cares whether you're Republican or okay? Now, you know, we live in a time now, we in so, listen, we in so much strife, you can't even, we're supposed to be a free country, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be allowed to vote whoever you want to vote for, but now you can't even tell who you vote for because people get, 
want to get in stripe. I am not going to get in stripe with you. Actually, me and James really do not, uh, you know, we don't preach about Republican yeah. Democrat. We try to, we try to stay, yeah. politics. We try to stay out of there. Because I don't want strife. Because strife, listen, strife is a blessing blocker. It's a blessing blocker. And so many people, you know, they get up and they go to pray and pray. And then after they come out of the prayer room, if the kids are doing something, they start hollering at them, getting in strife with them. My gosh, you know, you just almost like this. It's a blessing blocker. It is. So, you know, uh, Proverbs 10 and 12 say this, y'all, about strife. It says, hatred stirs up strife. You hear that? Hatred mm-hmm. stirs up strife. I mean, what has our nation been doing? Stirring mm-hmm. up strife. But love covers all, all sins. Amen. So we got to remain, you know, we can't get in no strife, you know. You know, <laughs> being married, Jesus said, you know, when God told us, he said we should come as one. Sometimes it's not easy. And you want to get in strife, but then I hear the word of God say, oh, no, don't go there. Because I don't want to have a blessing block. I got too many things that I'm believing for. But anyway. Uh-huh. And, you know, when you're in strife, Scripture talks about that Satan would take you captive at his own will. Yeah, you're a Christian. Well, I'm a Christian. They don't have to be. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's right. No, you that's get right. in strife, you get that's over right. there on Satan's territory, then I'm telling you what, he ain't he ain't playing. John 10 10 said that thief coming only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Knowing that Jesus came, we may have life and more abundant life, but Satan comes, he sit right there, he wanna take you out. Yeah. So stay out of strife. Yeah, stay out of yeah, strife. Right. Pray you one for the other yeah, that you yeah. might be ill, whether you Democrat, Republican, or whether that's you right. uh, voted for the candidate you want or whether, whether you got in or not. You pray for them because it's for you. That's right. When you pray for that's them, right. it's for you. We'll be healed. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. <laughs> you said that I was, I was in prayer one morning and I was praying for our nation, I was praying for our government, our president. And I heard the word of the Lord say, you know, he said, because you pray for our nation, because you pray for our president, because see the words, the scripture says, you know, if you pray for our leaders, right. I will live right. a quiet and peaceful life. That's right. But the word, this is what he told me. He said, because you didn't get in strife, because I don't mm-hmm. get in strife with nobody. Listen, mm-hmm. you start talking about who you vote, I, I'm not getting in no strife with you. But he said, because you didn't get in no strife. He said, I'm going to bless you right in the middle of all this mess. Mm-hmm. And I thought, thank you, Jesus. That's thank good. you, Lord. That's good. That's why we have joy. Right. Say, joy uh, is, of the Lord is your strength. That's, That's your right. strength when you have joy. You need that joy. So you got to stay out of that strife. That it may not you, when you when you get around someone and someone is going to be negative. Sometimes you may have to just walk away, not being rude or nothing like That's that. Right. Walk away so you can protect your anointing. Okay, so you walk in love with them. Okay, because you want them to enjoy life. And you know it as a Christian, in order to enjoy that life, then you got to be obedient to God. What right. he, he'll say it nothing. Amen? Okay. You know what the book of 2 Timothy, I want to read this. Mm. 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 23 mm. out of 26 <coughs> out of the Easy Read Version. Mm. It says, listen, it says, stay away from foolish and stupid mm. arguments. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read it again. Stay away from foolish and stupid arguments arguments you know that these arguments grow into bigger arguments Mm -hmm. as a servant of the lord you must not argue Mm -hmm. you must be kind to everyone you must be a good teacher and you must be patient you must you must be gentle teach teach those who who does who don't agree with you maybe god will let them change their hearts so that they can accept the truth the devil has trapped them. Oh, see, see, the devil has trapped them and now makes them to do what he wants. But maybe they can wake up to see what is happening and free themselves from the devil's trap. Yeah. See, that's just that's it. getting in that strife. That's, right. It's not worth it because it is a blessing blocker. That's it. That's it. That strife that she's talking about is uh, in, the, in the King James Version read like this. But foolish and unlearned yeah, questions yeah. of boredom. Knowing that they do gender strife, mm-hmm. it will gender strife. Just get away, walk, get away from That's that. Right. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, 
in meekness, instructing those that opposes themselves, that opposes themselves. Yeah. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. See what happened? The devil was taking them captive in his own will. They recovered themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Wow. Stay away from it. Get away from it. Get, get it out. Get every bit of it out. <laughs> you know, it's, it's God began to deal with me about getting strife out of my marriage. Like I said, it took me a couple of years. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, it's, it's like when I try to get mad at him, got to say this right. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know why this is coming up, but anyway, uh, when I... <laughs> um, I don't know why you didn't even go here, but anyway, when I tried, when I, when, when I wanted to get in strife with him, I actually uh, began to have a, a, a these sexual desires for him, and I thought, well, what is this all about? And this and this <coughs> happened. I, this began to happen, you know. Every time I wanted to get in strife, and I thought, okay, I you don't need me going this way, then okay. And, but I finally got over. But you know what? When when I learned to not get in strife. You know, you know, <coughs> women, we get we get in strife for at least little thing. I mean, he might have dropped some Kool Aid on the floor or something, or any little thing, <laughs> something, something stupid. But when I learned not to get in strife, you know, we had the biggest blessing come to us since we've been in this right. ministry. That's right. It was a young, a young boy. What's his name? Jay. Jay. What's his name? Uh, <coughs> Jay Logan, I think that was his name. Uh, when he, he he blessed us, he blessed us with a. Uh, I mean, he told us to meet him at the bank, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna quote his words. He said, "Because of your prayers, I'm here today." And he handed us a check of twenty thousand dollars. My point is, I had to get the strife out of home. That's right. That's right. Strife is nothing but a blessing block, and God opened doors. And you know, I just, I just realized, so many people. Get in strife over little silly little things, and it's not even worth it. Like I said, who cares where you're public? That's nothing but strife. It's nothing but a blessing blocker. God has so many things He want to open doors for us, and we're walking around here in strife over little pity patty stuff. Yeah, you know when we go to God and we pray and we ask Him for things, and it's like, and we don't receive it. He said, because we're asking amiss. In other words, we're asking it in a wrong way. We might take it. And consume it upon our lust. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what's your purpose for it? You, I want to compete with this person. I want to be seen that, that it's not going to work. Okay? Your purpose is wrong. Okay, but when we come to Him, we put Him first, and, and we ask in faith. We got to stay out of the strife, you know. And and you know what's your purpose? What's your goal for? Okay, then there are things that God wants to do for you and I. And that greatness is being birthed in you right, when things right. don't go your way and you don't get it when you want it and you thought you should get it. There are some things that may have to line up in your life. Again, check your love life. That's right. There might be something in there on the yeah. world. Check your love life. And that thing is holding you captive. It's not so much holding the other person captive that you are angry at. They might be free. But it's you. That's for you. So it's like rather than what they did to me, Look what they're I'm ready to go and run around and tell everybody what they did to me. That's now, right. forgive them. Pray for them. Mm -hmm. Just go to God. Say, Lord, remember Jim and, and remember Sally and look what they've done to me. Lord, I'm, I'm praying you to remember them and have mercy on them, God. When you're doing that, you're helping yourself. And all of a sudden, you can't keep praying for somebody and hate them. You can't do it. All right? Because the love of God is there. And all of a sudden, like, well, Lord, then become genuine. Now I can pray for him genuinely. All the things begin to change. And it will, that, that block that have blocked your blessings, be taken off all of a sudden, then it begins to flow. It's like, wow, your joy come up. Your peace of God is there. What well, passes all the understanding. And it keeps you. It keeps you. Keep that mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. I want to share with you a young lady that was in the scripture uh, out of Luke. Luke 24. I think it's Luke chapter 2, verse uh, 36. Talking about being in labor while you pray. That's uh, the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 36 and 37. Read it. It said, and there was one Anna. She was a prophetess mm -hmm. and the daughter of Peniel, mm -hmm. of the tribe of Asia. 
she was a great age and had lived with her husband seven years ago from her virginity. And she was a widow about four schools and four years. Mm -hmm. Which departed not from the temple. Did you see what it said? She departed not from the temple, but served God with fasting and praying night and day. Wow. Mm -hmm. And she came into the instant gate, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all of them that looked for the redemption of in Jerusalem. In other words, she was praying night and day. Ooh, I'm, I'm talking to y'all the intercessors. You know what? Night and day. She never left the temple praying. She was she was birthed in greatness. You know who she birthed in Jesus Christ. Her prayers. Listen, night and day, she never left the temple. I ain't got there yet. I, I, I tell you, that's a that's a great woman right there. I mean, she passes praying night and day, praying for Jesus to be birthed in a way. Well, you know, it's uh, it's it sounds like that is hard to do that. I'm looking at it from the natural, perhaps it is hard to do that. But when you're in the will of God, you love God, you're in the will of God, it's not hard. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's you, you're in the will of God. And it takes that pressure off. You know? and, and now your flesh might be screaming and want to do this over here. Oh, no, I, I, I want to do it. And God says, no, my child, pray. You know, I would like the song that God would give him a wife. It says, got to get up and pray. Spend some time with the Lord. Read his word before the day. And I said, well, Lord, what do I get if I get up and pray? And then in the, in the song he given, he says, I will bless your children. Okay? I will bless the fruit of your body. I, I will bless your bank account. Did you hear that? This is what he, he will bless a bank account. You'll have that what you're trying to pray for all the time. Put him first, listen to him, obey him. And he said, it's, he takes the sweat out of it. And all of a sudden, doors begin to open to you. And as long as well, you may not get no glory from it. You know, if you say, look what I got. I worked and I look at my bank account. It's all back called I, 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 I. No, put God first. Do what he said do. And he said, I will add all these things unto you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I just want to say, you know. Mm -hmm. Whoever it may be, I just I just hear the Lord saying, you know, you've been faithful, you've been praying, you've been getting tithes, and God God sees what you're doing. And I don't know how, but He said somehow in the middle of all this mess, He's gonna open a door for you and bless you more than enough, more than enough, and and not calling the names, but there's a young man that I'm hearing this now that you know maybe you want to start a a business. Uh, Maybe pressure washing business. But I heard a guy said, get, you know, step out of the box. Step mm -hmm. out of the box. Don't fear. Mm -hmm. Don't fear. Mm -hmm. And God's going to open some doors for you. He's going to do some great things in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's awesome. That's awesome. And just, and it, it, it might seem, well, how am I going to do this? Just relax. That's right. And just take one step at a time. That's right. Take the first step. And all of a sudden, you begin to see that door will open. You know, when it, for that thing that seems so hard, all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay. Right. He's God, open he'll right. open the door for you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Nothing too hard for the Lord. Amen. He paid the price. He paid it. Amen. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I just thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your giving. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want to give, we got three easy ways to give. It's called Zella. And you mm -hmm. give to, uh, you might have to download the app. I'm not sure, but You'll be given to a n b m i n s at gmail dot com, and then the second way is Cash App. And when you download the app, you give to a New Beginning Tri Church of Faith. And the third one is Tatly, and uh, you may have to download the app on that one, and you'll be given to a New Beginning Tri Church of Faith. Okay. Yes. Amen. And because of your giving and so on, we would like to to pray concerning that. You know. Sometimes you know how we've gone, and lots of times in church, we who in in church for any a number of years, and you just want to just throw your money just in the pan, just that's like, right. just like that's right. and to you, you feel like it's a loss. Listen, let's do it God's way. That's right. And and Second Corinthians ninth chapter, verse seven, 
Well, let me start at verse six. He says this. He said, this I say, he which soweth sparingly, now believe this, okay? Pay on it on God. He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That's right. That you always have an all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Amen. Okay. So let me pray over your giving as some that already have given. And, and I lift up before Almighty God these, the envelopes and those that already given through, through as you said, the Zelle or the Tidley or the, uh, the apps or uh, cash app. Father God, we lift them up before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that we say whatsoever man sows, he shall also reap. And those, God, in through their financial giving, God, they have sown in faith. And I speak, Lord, blessings upon them in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, you're able to make the grace, all grace, abound towards them. I look and expect for the abounding grace of Almighty God to rest upon them in the name of Jesus. And through their giving, God, that return back to them, even good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over that men might give into their bosom, God. I thank you, God, for doors being opened, God, during this time. Right. Our girls That's have right. lost That's jobs. Right. That's right. That's and right. those jobs on the rock, don't know increase. what to do. It's right. like fear want to grab a hold yes. to them. Mighty God, you are God Almighty, and it's nothing too hard for you. We pray you for a favor on their beginning, yes. God, because of their giving. Lord, that they might receive by faith. We trust in you. I said uh, myself in agreement with them in faith. Yes. Lord, that the Thank door you. may be open right. supernaturally yes. to the glory of God. I yes. praise you and honor you. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.